guys are going to be looking at the diet of Zach Efron. So sometimes when you're on set, I give myself permission now to sort of let up and eat what I need to eat. It's, it's not the time or the place to put pressure on yourself, unless you really need to be shirtless that entire film, which tends to be the case for me. I'm just saying about needing to eat something. I'm going to recover this later. Sometimes. Hi, I'm Zach Efron. Men's Health is asking to tell you about what I eat. Let's dig in. It's an interesting directive that they put here. Eat like Zac Efron. It's funny that they say eat like him, but why, why, why? I guess the philosophy around the current diet is intermittent fasting. Philosophy, that means it's his ideas, his belief system. This is what he believes, it's an opinion. Important point to note mixed with getting enough nutrition to sort of stay. edamame beans is it rocket pepper salad rubbish no nutrition sustain me throughout the day i started getting that will not sustain you throughout the day that meal would not sustain you throughout the day intermittent fasting just after i stopped being vegan my body wasn't processing the, the vegetables in the right way so i decided you're not going to ever process vegetables the right way there isn't a way to process them properly we're not um, herbivorous animals. We don't have multiple gastric chambers. It doesn't work. It's not. It's not compatible with the human species. Decided to to stop it and try something new. Intermittent fasting has been really helpful with that. A lot of people that do these vegan diets do fall into fasting because it helps them shed the crap they've been putting through the body for so long. Um, it is a useful tool, but you shouldn't be having to fast your way into better health. I don't know if that's um, the case for a lot of people. At least if you're doing a proper diet for most roles you, you change something but i think probably the one role that i had to change the most for was probably baywatch in that movie i adopted a really really specific eating regimen clean fish from meat with sweet potatoes and I... well, what it means by clean meat um the sweet potatoes definitely aren't clean they're not natural food um you know processed madely reproduced in such a way that isn't compatible with what the ancestrally historically appropriate in any way um they're definitely modern food so they're not um they could be defined as clean if that was what he was trying to say but at least he's taking the skins off that's a step in the right direction there so we'll be balanced here we just did that the entire film so that was that was the most extreme i'd ever gone i think i was in ketosis the, the entire film it's funny you mentioned this point because how are you going to be in ketosis if you're not consuming any appreciable amount of fat protein and carbs i don't see how the keto is going to go up interesting point beer run was fun i just got to eat whatever i wanted beer run eating what you want i can see how this is going to go already when we were in thailand which is a great place to do it i, I love thai food there's so many delicious things they could do with crab but some of the best foods i discovered were like noodle dishes like ramen the soups and stuff yeah it's never the noodles it's always the food that's with the noodles that makes the dish and it's always meat and it's always 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 broth two animal foods you won't eat a bowl of noodles on the road and enjoy them it's always the animal foods that accompany them yeah about there jeez i can't think of any <laughs> so sometimes when you're on set i give myself permission now to sort of let up and eat what i need to eat I need to eat. Need. That's a. It's a must. It's a must have. It must be essential. Whatever you're needing to eat. Craving something else. It's, it's not the time or the place to put pressure on yourself, unless you really need to be shirtless that entire film. What am I talking about? Which tends to be the case for me sometimes. What's harder, the diet or the working out? I've got training pretty locked in. The diet kind of does the finishing touches. Diet will take you to the next level. I don't know. I think the diet's much more important than the training. Um, to get a muscular, big, you know, dense-looking physique, you're going to need to do some training, yeah, because you, the amount of muscle you have naturally isn't that high, unless you add in the training side of it. But I think the diet is a lot more, um, a lot more important than just doing the training alone. Um, we've got a spinach and something, a kale sort of smoothie here. This doesn't look like part of the diet. Must be some like paint mixture or something. 
and if you're doing it right, you can train better. I don't know. I've also talked about spinach. No, it's sort of like the chicken and the egg. Oops. Toughest diet I've ever done overall. Probably just not eating. I've done that a couple times. That doesn't sound very fun, Zach. I wouldn't do that. I prefer to eat food. I prefer to um, keep living. It's always rough. Have I ever had a cheat meal with Ron? We ate a ton of food during Baywatch. Tremendous amounts of food. Like, he'll eat, like, twice the amount of protein I have in a day. He does twice the amount of protein on his body, so it would not surprise me. The Rock is a huge human being. And a huge thing of carbs, and he'll just have it, like, in within one five-minute period of him. So, I watched him eat a lot. I don't know if we had that many. Favorite carbohydrate to eat? I feel good when I have bananas, when I have... I wonder, you know, if it means for good, it's like, do you eat them and you feel better afterwards? I don't think that's ever been the case for me as someone who used to eat lots of carbohydrates and lots of vegetable matter. Um, I've never eaten those foods and felt better afterwards. Not once. Sweet potatoes. I think I get the most bang for my buck out of those ones. Also, plantains, for some reason. All foods that he's listed have quite a, quite a high potassium. Content. You probably get the same from if you just ate meat. It must give me good, like, clean energy. Favorite protein? Clean energy. I'm not sure if he's looked into it, but the deuterium side of things, the glycation that is from the carbohydrates in your blood, or the glucose in your blood. And what else is there? There's. Your body has to deal with shuttling around spikes of insulin to deal with the glucose itself. Yeah, it's not clean. There's nothing clean about eating carbohydrates ever. Nothing, there's nothing um, safe about it. This is kind of a weird one, but I really like organ meats, so I love like liver and red onions. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I've, I've grown really fond of it. Oh. That's a great question. An epic burger. I spent a lot of time in Australia. I love it out there. And I discovered I loved Vegemite. Yeah, I mean, I got to like... Craves B vitamins, like, you know, burgers. The, the meat side of that, the beef vitamins from the red meat. The veggie might, you know, on the label it says it's got all this, these beef vitamins in it, so I can see what he's trying to do here in terms of um, get more of this sort of nutrition in. I like it without butter, but for your first time, you need to put a lot of butter and a little bit of veggie might. That'll be the last meal I post made it through. <laughs> the best food smell in the world. It always seems to be by ice cream shops when they're baking the cones. I don't know what that smell is. That is because you come from a background of disordered eating, eating protein and carbs only, with no fat. You know, he's going to mention the ramen shop in a minute, which is you know broth that's going to have the meat fat. Um, then the ice cream is going to have the dairy fat in it. He craves fat, and it's so clear. Or, or a ramen shop. I think walking by like a good ramen shop in Japan, the smell is insane. I try not to eat in bed, but sometimes I'll wake up and there'll be like Skittles <laughs> attached to my back. There'll be glucose attached to your back. Look at it that way and reframe it and you think, how ridiculous is this? Yeah. I used to have the same thing, but with jelly beans, fun enough, and I was eating loads of sugar and rubbish. Um, yeah, it wasn't very fun. And you would get like these little dye marks in the back when you've had a, a bath or shower and it rub off into white t-shirts that you wear afterwards. That was not fun. <laughs> The sheets are all rainbow color. That's happened to be fat. So typically I'll break fast around 10 30 or 11, um, but that's after I do some cardio. First meal. Of you probably believe that faster cardio is the ultimate be all end all. Um, I say do cardio when you feel best and when you when it fits into your plan. It's going to be sustainable, whatever it's going to be. Um, you should really, really be doing cardio anyway. I mean, I just saw him do some tire flipping, which is pretty cool. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be doing like long walks like you know steady state stuff like that definitely not um ideal for human health the day usually starts with bone broth i really love bone broth it's satisfying and it's good for your stomach it helps me kind of warm up to the real food yeah he kind of intuitively knows he needs to respect his digestive system and get some of that collagenous rich broth in his gut so yeah it makes sense good to some sort of veggies with a really clean some sort of vegetable there's no vegetables you should be having. Um, I'm interested in what it means by clean protein. Clean. What is clean protein? And if it's from an animal, it's going to be clean. Yeah, but if it's from anything else, like the edamame beans earlier, avoid. Source of protein, whether it's chicken, beef, venison, elk, anything. 
then, yeah, I usually have my highest carbohydrate meal sort of in the evening. That's usually another really good source of meat and a healthy carbohydrate. Sweet. There's never going to be a healthy carbohydrate, at least from plant-based foods. You're never going to get it. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. Potatoes or quinoa. Yeah, on cheat days, I love to eat massive amounts of pancakes. If I'm... Cheat days. Something about his diet doesn't seem sustainable to me. I don't know, what do I know? I'm just a bodybuilder that used to do all this sort of thing for um, over a decade. I don't know, don't, don't listen to me. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about nutrition. Doing pancake day, it's it's a lot of pancakes. I'll go through a whole box of three pancakes. <laughs> if I'm going to have a cheat meal, I still want it to be at least semi-good for me. Whilst drizzling loads of maple syrup all over it. Yeah, it's going to be great for you, mate. Great. Oh my god. He's got some blueberries there, that might... No, nah, it won't do anything. It's not going to help him at all. Um, having a portion of fruit with any food is not going to make it better for you. Once again, I'm Zach Efron. That's a little bit about what I eat. Also, don't forget to check out The Greatest Beer Run Ever on Apple TV+. Plus. So beer runs, ice cream, syrup, sugar, Skittles. What else we got here? Um, pancakes. Um, spinach and kale, green paint. Yeah, um, not sustainable, not great for long-term health. Um, I just hope he sees the light at the end of the tunnel one day and sort of thinks, okay, I've been following a diet here which is unsustainable, unhealthy, it's built on bad eating habits, and it's made his life ultimately, well, I'd say in the future it would make his life more challenging um, when he gets diabetes, when he gets serious health complications, um, I just hope he finds out sooner rather than later. Um, I never wish ill health on anyone. Um, I do actually like some of his videos and his movies, so... Yeah, hopefully he sort of gets in touch with a proper nutritionist that knows what we're talking about, gets the right advice, and he can enjoy a, a great long health span. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like below and leave a comment. Also, please consider subscribing if you have not already. Thank you.